Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn how we can calculate the area in the Google Earth Engine JavaScript code editor. So, when we are doing some remote sensing exercise, there are huh, numerous of times that we have to calculate the area of either a vector file or a raster, that means image collection specific to some class or specific to some areas. So we can do so in the with the help of Google Earth Engine. Either it can be a classified map or it can be a map boolean map like positive or the negative pixels. So uh, we are going to cover this tutorial into three parts. In the first part, we are going to calculate the area for a feature that means a vector data and the area calculation of a single image of any image of a single class. In the next part, we are going to calculate the area of any image which have a multiple class. That means we're going to calculate the area of all the classes in the image and in the last part, the third part, we are going to calculate the area of images by class by different region. So let's go to the JavaScript code editor. So this is our Google Earth Engine code editor. So for this purpose, we are going to search for modest land cover data set. It's going to open this into a new tab. So this is the modest land cover data set and we are just going to copy this first five lines. and paste it over here. So now these are the data set uh, providing uh, images for a single year, single image for the single year and it is completely image collection. So we need to convert this image collection into single image. So for that we are going to apply a filter with the name filter date. And we are going to use the reducer as first so that it will take only single image and after that we just check our data set by printing this IGPP land cover and hit run. So now this is a single image of 2017 1st of January and we can project this uh, add this layer over our map either you can write your own line or just copy this map dot add layer and run so now this is our land cover land use land cover map so to compute the area of any region we are going to use an administrative boundary either you can use your upload your own assets or uh, you can use some administrative boundary already in the earth engine so we are going to use FAO global administrative unit so F A U G A U L. So it is provide global administrative unit at different levels. So we are going to use this second level administrative unit. You can just copy this and write a code script for variable paste. and we want to filter uh, the administrative boundary for a single state so we are going to use this for goa it is a state in india and the spelling is easy so that's why i'm using this So for filtering with the attribute uh, data set, we are just going to use eefilter.eq and in that case, we are going to use as ADM1, that means administrative one. You can check with the schema of this data set. The table schema provide admin 0 code 1, ADM 0 name, dispute ADM code 1, that means the state name. So we are going to use ADM underscore ADM 
and check whether it is filtered properly. So uh, we just want to zoom it over this portion also. So what we can do, we can write map dot center object goa and hit enter. We just off this IDP land cover. So now this is the goa administrative boundary. Okay. Next thing that, you, that we are going to do is clip the land use land cover for our area of interest. So for that purpose, we just used uh, uh, create a new variable like uh, goa lulc is equal to igpp land cover dot clip goa and then instead of adding we're just going to copy this line so that the color coding will be same goa lulc this will be the same and here the name of the layer will be going to be changed at goa lulc and we are going to uh, comment this with those two backslash and just hit run once again we can off this boundary also in order to check that yes it has come up properly So firstly, we are going to calculate the area of this feature. That means the Goa boundary. And for that purpose, we are going to use the default function area for any vector layer. So we are just going to create a variable. Goa area is equal to GOA. That means our Goa state boundary dot geometry. Because we are going to convert that first in geometry or you can convert this feature collection into a single feature and then area now this will return a number let's just see so it is returning a number that is a very big number it is in the meter square so what we can do we can just convert this into a square kilometer so we just again use this same variable and then round off and then hit enter and let's see so this is the area of Goa that means 3685. So after calculating the area of the feature, next thing we are going to calculate the area of an image for the single class. That means we are going to calculate the area of any single class. And this can be done by using the ee.image pixel area. Uh, you can search it over in the docs that is ee image dot pixel area. Uh, this is the function can be applied over an image and this will generate an image in which the value of each pixel is the area of that pixel in the square meters and if the image pixel contains value 0 or 1 we can multiply this pixel area image with our image and calculate the total area using the reduce region function and in this example we are going to extract the area of urban class and see how uh, the built up area are uh, coming in the to the Goa state boundary. So first let's check that uh, in which class we are getting the uh, urban as a class. So we're just going to modest data set web page and it's going to band and we are using LC type 1. So the LC type 1 the urban land is coming in the class number 13. So next thing we are going to do is extracting urban. We're just going to use dot eq 13 so it will filter only pixel which are having value 13 uh, we can check by using map 
dot add layer urban and we just if you don't uh, confine with the color palette you can just give the curly bracket blank curly bracket and the name urban So you can check uh, there are two classes are coming one is zero and another is one zero with the value black a uh, color black and one with the value uh, one with the color white that means one means it is an urban area and zero means that it is not an urban area so you can actually uh, convert this either a transparent mode like uh, one in the white area and the value of one may be in red area and apply so this is the urban area uh, according to this land use land cover map next thing we are going to extract the area of this urban pixels so I'm going to define a variable area image and use urban dot and after that area with the help of reduce region So we are going to uh, use the reducer as sum because we want to sum all of the area pixels. So here we are going to use the scale 500 because we know that the modest line cover data set comes with a resolution of 500 meter and in order to encounter the maximum pixels the limit of the google earth engine we are going to use maximum pixel as 1 raised to the power i think you can do the 10 So finally urban area is equal to we are going to convert this uh, so this will result into a dictionary uh, with the area in the meter square so we are going to convert into kilometer square here we are going to write the band name that is lc underscore type 1 and then we are going to simply copy this line that means divide by 10 to the power 6 and dot round after that we are just going to print with the message area of urban class comma then this variable and hit enter So there is an error so it is coming that area dot guess divide is not a function so I think uh, we just forgot to give a bracket over here and remove this bracket and hit run so you can see this now the area of urban class is coming as 22 kilometer square square kilometer so this is how you can find the area of any feature of or, or any single 
class. In the next part, we are going to calculate the area by multiple class. So, hope you like this video. If so, please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.